It ain't act, nigga. Nobody ain't taking no more. Look at Vlad. Vlad been violating this whole week. Shout out to the shout out to the homie Vlad. Vlad called an elite chopper, which by the way, I don't want to get too much and spice that up because I put Vlad and an elite chopper in a group chat and I put them on the phone. I put them on the phone. You feel me? You know, I got a relationship with an elite chopper. Uh, um, you know, me and him always texted. Vlad's my nigga. I've no apologies about that. That's my nigga. Don't deal with nobody talking shit about him. That's my nigga. And rather than spice that issue up, I did post about it, but I said, yo, you know, when I talk to Vlad, who did call me, I'm like, yo, Vlad, bro, it would be better if y'all just hop on the phone and I put them in a conversation together. But the point is this. Vlad, who usually lets niggas call him a snitch, a bitch, everything in the fucking book. Hold on, let me just go to my page. Vlad not taking the bullshit no more, bro. By the way, let me give y'all some facts why Vlad not taking the bullshit no more. Man, Vlad making like 200 bands a month. At least. Actually, probably more. Probably like 300, 400. Who knows? Vlad pulling in a nice 5 plus million easily. Maybe 10. Whatever. A year. Bro, you think he about to sit here? Like, it's not it's not the Vlad where like Vlad... Like, they try to get Vlad out of the industry where, like, no big artist wanted to, like, do an interview with him. Like, look at Vlad's interviews. Nigga, Vlad, Vlad turned Boosie into, like, pretty much, like, 6 9 when it comes to interviews. All of these signed artists, they all blackball Vlad because everybody was like, oh, he a snitch. You talk to him, you won't get locked up. Nigga, Vlad persevered through all that. That's why Vlad talking this shit now. He tired of this shit. The media niggas is tired of getting, tired of jumping on a sword for niggas who got no respect and also niggas who ain't that successful compared to you. Look, look, look at this. Like, I ain't trying to gas them because, as I said, I put them on the phone. But look, so Vlad said you're a snake oil salesman who claimed that he reversed cancer using his $125 bottle of Miracle Cure just trying to buy a Vlad TV interview. This is how these guys operate. This is where the guilty conscience kicks in. NLE Chopper thinking that he talking about him. Now, granted, I'm going to be honest with you. Vlad did refer to Chopper as a, as a snake oil salesman before. So I could probably see why Chopper probably thought he was sneaking to him. He said, well, my mama, you lying. Vladimir Putin looking ass bitch. Vlad says, how am I lying when I never said I was talking about you? Read my tweet. You ain't the only sales." Snake oil salesmen out there lying about curing cancer with fake overpriced herbs. Want to be NBA looking ass bitch? Like, when Vlad started talking like this, bro, yo, Vlad's sick of it. Vlad done realize he's at the point he don't need y'all niggas. Like, I'm not, I don't got to be here to agree with everything Vlad has ever done in life. But there was a time niggas was trying to boycott him. Like, like he used to interview certain niggas that were like, oh, yeah, he used to interview that bum-ass nigga, my son, before he pick up the picket fence. He was like, nah, nah, yo, I got to stick with the black community. Fuck Vlad. Bro, Vlad making 20 times the amount of money he used to make more successful, and that nigga is still trying to search for another protest. Bro, Vlad just at the point where he's tired of the disrespect. I'm just trying to tell y'all. Everything y'all have said about me, I'm pointing out other entities who tired of the disrespect. Now, I'm not here advocating that media outlets should be just wilding. No, I'm not saying that. But, bro, a lot of times when it comes to media outlets, bro, you getting blamed for all type of shit, bro. You getting blamed for all type of shit. You know how many times a nigga has sent me a shit, sent me a story, or sent me some shit to post? Or their label sent me some shit to post? And that shit didn't turn out in their favor or people roasting them? You know who they ended up blaming? Yo, it's that bitch ass, snitch ass nigga academics. Why you why you always posting shit like that? Bro, what do you mean? I, yo, I had the same issue with um with uh, uh um money back, yo, we cool now. But money back, yo, it's like yo, man, act be just posting shit that be getting niggas in trouble. I'm like, yo, money back, yo, your label is paying me to post it. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Bro, I'm I'm down to I'll expose myself to expose y'all. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, your label paid me to post all this shit. What are you talking about? As soon as I said that, everybody was like, everybody hit me behind the scenes. Oh, yeah, yeah, nah, nah, nah. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Are we back? Okay, cool. All right, all right. 
bro. So, 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 so what was that for? You just wanted me to jump on the sword, and him still look good? No, nigga, I got a brand. To, I got a brand to protect. I've been telling Vlad. That. I said, Vlad, you got a brand to protect. When they're lying about you, saying that your your video got niggas convicted of crimes, bro, that makes other people who might be younger or whatever don't want to fuck with you. But Vlad think like how, you know, I linked up with Berman not too long ago. Coming soon. And Berman looked at me and said, yo, I, I used to think like that too. He said, yo. He said, when I, he, he was talking about pulling up on Charlamagne, he's like, yo, I never knew when a nigga be saying certain shit about you. Say I pull up on a new artist, they might he gonna echo what that nigga been saying about you. Like, say you pull up on a new artist trying to sign him. That nigga gonna be like, well, I ain't gonna lie, man. That nigga Charlamagne say like, yo, you don't pay a motherfucking soul this that, and third. So that's when he said he started realizing, like, wait, oh, these niggas putting out a narrative that's gonna hurt my business. Cause Birdman really don't give a fuck if a nigga's talk about him. You can just crack a joke on him, he don't care. Now, if 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 you spread in what he think is propaganda that people don't work with him, that's when he get mad. Which I think this is where, like, you know, the media people come in. I, I said to Vlad, I said, Vlad. How you don't think you're going to get like a bigger artist to come fuck with you when you're allowing people to call you a snitch and basically saying you're the police? Nigga, you've never done nothing that's a snitch. You're not. Well, and by the way, that Rick Rose shit, I'm not counting, bro. Fuck that. Um, bro, they're trying to create propaganda against you until he stood up against that. It was whatever. So anyway, um. Chopper says, I can't wait to see you warm hugs for you. And then look, look what look what happened then, right? I can't wait to see you warm. Look what Vlad said. Why wait, nigga? You could come see me on Vlad TV face to face whenever you're man enough to do it. Bro. And by the way, I know some of you, yo, Vlad's talking spicy. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all. Bro, all of these individuals, once you get to a certain level, Bro, NLE Chopper has a lot of security. Every time I've seen Vlad, he has a licensed nigga who I could tell by looking in his eyes is dying to shoot a nigga, bro. Everywhere you see Vlad, you will see a nigga. You ain't going to see 20 goons with him. But the, the nigga you see with him, hand is clutching on a gun waiting for the reason to put you in a fucking backward. That's how Vlad rolls. So you know what Vlad realized? Bro, he, you think Vlad's scared of NLE Chopper? That's why I said this and everybody said, Aki's acting tough. Bro, when you realize that all your tough rappers rolls around with security, the same niggas who, the same niggas that when they're leaving with the tough rapper who you're you're supposedly scared of, they all say to you, Yo, who do your security? Yo, yo, take my number. Just hit me up when you need me to secure you. So you could hire their security. Their security just paid, just pay niggas. You stop like, like this is the facade of the industry. You stop being scared of rappers when you realize, bro, they're just paying that nigga 800 bucks for the night and paying that nigga 700 for the night. But they're just paying him just like how you could pay him. So, of course, Vlad, you think Vlad's scared of Chopper? I'm like, yo, Chopper, pull up to where I'm at. Now, all that shit you see online, Chopper ain't about to pull up to where, where Vlad's at with no type of none of that. Bro, and by the way, Chopper's not a bitch. Let me just put it out there. I don't want people to take it misconstrued. All I'm just trying to say, bro, we in a professional environment, bro. Only fans be thinking this is gangster shit, bro. This is a professional environment, dog. NLE Chopper wants to promote his music. He wants to get a, 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 the best look for his albums or maybe artists that he's signing. Bro, he's not here trying to shoot up a club, bro. And if he was, he would have never been tweeting about it from the get-go. Now, granted, somebody said, act. Somebody said, act. You know what rappers to play with or whatever. Now, there's definitely. There's certain rappers, yeah, Leave them alone. There's certain rappers we just categorize as stupid. 
And what I mean by stupid is they're dying to go to jail. Like, they're dying to go to jail. Now, the majority of rappers, they're not trying to go to jail. There are certain rappers, they want to go to jail to prove a point. Those rappers, you leave alone. I'm telling you. There's a few rappers, and this is what, I told y'all this, though. When y'all be like, oh, act, acting tough. No, nigga, not acting tough. I said, like, for the most part, I'll box anybody. But also, I'm not scared of rappers. And what I mean I'm not scared of rappers is just that you get to realize, bro, most of these guys, they're just rappers with security. And then you realize there's a few rappers who are just stupid. And what I mean by stupid, these things will jump all the way out. the pl Like, they'll jump off the bridge just to kill you, even if it means sacrifice himself. Them niggas, they need Jesus. Stay out of their way. But for the most part, rappers ain't that dumb, bro. Okay? Oh, shit. I never seen... Oh. Ross. Oh, shit. Yo. I never seen this. Oh. Yo, that's Rich Forever. That's Ross. Oh, I didn't never seen this. So... I said, Vlad and NLE Chopper's interview soon. Yo, Raw said he'll sue once his eyes roll out. Oh, wow. I didn't see this at all. I've never seen this. Yo, i never seen this. You know, I never really had a full conversation about this. Um, This is one of the topics that every time I interview um, Vlad, we don't really get into, you know. And I don't know if there's still any legal stuff with it, but, like, I think it's just water under the bridge. Allegedly and apparently, um, Rick Ross and his people ran to Vlad early on in the game, probably 10 years ago, 10-plus years ago, supposedly, like, punched up on uh, on Vlad, and um, Vlad sued. And apparently Vlad got, like, a $400,000 settlement or judgment, whatever the case is. And Vlad has never really said anything about Rick Ross since then. I don't even think he posts Rick Ross. But it's interesting. Rick Ross was in my comments. And he says this. He'll sue once his eyes roll out. Oh, my God. See, this is where it gets tough. Yo, by the way, people be in my comments thinking that Rick Ross is paying me. No, Rick Ross is good at content. I think Rick Ross has gotten better at content. He posts great stuff every day. He's talking to his horse. He's talking motivation. He knows what gets posted to the blogs. Also, when we post him, he reposts us. Smart. Smart. Like, Rick Ross gets it. You know? Um, damn. I don't know. I got to get that Ross interview. I was supposed to get a Ross. You know, so I hosted, like, a, you know, like a release party for his last album. I was supposed to get, a, like, a Ross interview, but... but I think his PR kind of like, well, they told me that it was like, they kind of stopped it. They were like, yo, we ain't want you to ask him all type of stuff. And I was like, like what? And to keep it real, all those things that they, they were fearing that I would ask him got asked by full send. They're like, yeah, we ain't want you to keep, we ain't want you to like egg on or ask about the fuck. Oh, is T-Pain here? T-Pain! T-Pain! Yo, T-Pain, yo. Yo, hey, no, 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 matter of fact, nah, fuck this, nah, fuck this. I might give him a Charleston White. No, 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 no. I love it, that nigga. No, 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 no. T Pain, me and T Pain was supposed to do a podcast in LA. And that's some of a bitch. <laughs> I'm like, T Pain said he wasn't there. He left. He left LA. Nigga told me he was in Atlanta. T Pain be having mad stories. <laughs> 